Hey guys, welcome back to Clash with Corey. Today I've got three Town Hall 12 triples to show you from WHF's recent season of the Clan War Leagues. Today I'm going to show you a Queen Charge Minor Attack. I'm going to show you a Wrecker Lalo 12v12 triple and another Drag Bat Town Hall 12 triple because we're still seeing them a lot a lot so uh bat spells not useless guys this is still working you just got to plan a little better that's all so let's get into these 12v12 triples right now Nerf this. if any of you guys are new to the channel hit that subscribe button i would appreciate it if you like this video put a thumbs up on it and if you don't want to miss another video because i'm doing clash videos for you guys every single day then turn on that notification bell and you'll get notified when those new videos come out we're going to start out with this triple by Dan Howe. Now, this is not a fully upgraded Town Hall 12, uh, but you know what? It does have that maxed out Giga Tesla, Giga Bomb, so you always have to plan on that because if you don't plan on it, uh, it'll take out your troops in a heartbeat. So Dan realizes, of course, well, first of all, he's very good at this attack, very good at Queen Charges in general, and really loves the Queen Charges. Uh, minor attack, he does it very well with great success at Town Hall 10, Town Hall 11, and at Town Hall 12. So it's no surprise to see him wrecking a Town Hall 12 with it right here. But these ring bases, while they're, you know, the anti-two-star designs, that makes them a little easier to triple than an anti-three-star design. Uh, quite a bit easier, actually. And another nice thing about them, look at, the, look at the ring right here. Wide open path around this whole base. All you got to do is break your queen in somewhere, and she's got free reign over that whole thing. I mean, I'm sure he probably thinks those single target infernos are going to prevent a queen charge, but uh, they're not going to prevent a queen charge from a skilled attacker. Definitely not going to prevent one from Dan. <clears throat> so, you, really nice walk right there. Those air defenses are not positioned very well. They do not defend the outside of that base from a queen walk at all all cannot snipe those healers so he takes advantage of that to make a whole side of this base basically disappear before he breaks his queen in and that's going to help kind of determine which way she's going to walk around the base and if you can determine which way she's going to walk around the base then you have an easier time planning what you're going to do where you're going to place your troops when and where so very nicely done that queen is still going strong had some cc valks in there looks like raged him up try and take care of as much of that poor core as possible now the nice thing about the cc valks is they do a good job of tanking those single target infernos and managed to get one of them taken out queen's gonna pop her ability to take out the second single target inferno now she's coming back in for that town hall that giga tesla the giga bomb he has lost most of his healers at this point and has used the ability but he used that last rage on that healer and queen to try and get that town hall taken out and he gets it down and the queen is still alive in there with no healers still gonna snipe a couple more defenses miners have come in from the top side now working their way around the base another nice thing to notice about this attack is just how much of this base he got down with that skilled queen charge it was a lot leaving not a lot left for the miners to deal with and with a few heals uh those miners are going to be able to take care of the rest of this base no problem he crushes this one super hard tons of miners left up he's still got a couple wizards minion just kind of help clean up with any buildings the miners might miss um always a good idea on minor attacks because sometimes they just leave a random building behind and uh go on with the rest of the base and end up with a, a tight time situation so having a couple extra cleanup troops definitely a good idea on these hits um didn't need them this time but a lot of times you will very nice queen walk minor attack by dan on this one now we're going to check out a Wrecker Lalo by Vince on number seven. So this is nice. I'm going to pause this real quick. So we're going to take a look at this. What he's going to do, a lot of times with Lalo attacks, you're going to take out the Town Hall with Sui Heroes or Kill Squad Push or something like that. And that would be over here. So he could get the Town Hall with that. <clears throat> but if he did that, he would not get the Queen. He would not get the Eagle. So he actually decides to enter in over here. He wants to go for air defense, two wizard towers, eagle artillery, uh, 
queen. God, I think he's going to get three wizard towers, actually. So even though you usually go in and get the town hall, he sees more kill squad value down here and just plans on using the warden ability to get past that giga bomb, which when the town hall goes down, if you don't use a warden ability, if you got loons in the area, they're they're done. They, you know, there's no amount of healing that can save them from dying from that giga bomb blast. So you ha if you're not going to get the town hall down before your lava loon, you have to use your warden ability at the town hall if you want those loons to survive after it and uh he's gonna give us a great example of doing just that so get some funneling troops down baby dragon on one side wizards up top cut in the funnels so those bowlers and heroes can follow in that wall wrecker he also had a giant out in front of the wall wrecker wanted it give it just a little bit more time a little bit more tanking make sure it made it in there deep enough has an early rage wanted to catch those bowlers and the heroes in the rage valks come back into it too and catch a little bit of that raging action as well so very nice and look at this compartment just fallen king's broken through the walls there along with the valks most of the bowlers are gone at this point but he's still got a full health queen with her ability does not wait um for her to die he starts the lalo early start on one end of the base now he could have started from up here too um but he chose to start from down here one place you would not want to start is in the middle you don't want to start in the middle and have loon split off you lose your momentum so you want to start from one end of the l one end of the c shape and work your way around and that's exactly what vince does right here warden's going down now his warden's kind of hanging back a little bit and i would be pretty nervous if i was him at that point but it does step up and catch enough of those loons has a rage down to get him through that town hall pops that warden ability boom there goes the giga bomb but the loons that were in the vicinity were protected by the warden ability very nicely done uses the heal spell to heal up all those loons before they get to that wizard tower compartment just coming out of that section that had a lot of damage heals them up so that by the time they get to that wizard tower compartment their full health it's not going to be able to stop them with those couple hastes only defense he left behind was a tesla and that's because it was hidden he didn't know about it if he would have known about it of course you know i'm sure he would have saved a couple loons for it but uh you don't get scout attacks in clan war leagues you know it's it's all fresh all the time unless you're leaving a base on hit and that's not a very good strategy so very nice fresh triple from vince on this one wrecking that town hall 12 with a wrecker you know bowler lalo very nice so now we're going to take a look at number five. This is another drag bat attack. You know, some of you guys might be wondering, man, why are you showing us so many drag bat attacks? Because it is still very much in the meta. And I try to show you guys, first of all, unusual attacks, because I love watching those new attacks, but also on meta attacks. And drag bat is all up in the meta right now i mean it's it's right there it's you know even after the bat spell nerf it is still very much there because we're seeing triples with it all the time at town hall 12 town hall 11 and at town hall 10 so that's why i show you guys stuff i want to show you the most current stuff i can not very good base design right there looks like the queen's going to be able to reach that inferno so takes out that side with some nice funneling and gets that single target inferno down that was up here because single targets not good for dragons they can melt dragons pretty fast king over on the other side just does a little bit of exterior building funneling probably wanted him to go down the other way but king has kind of a mind of his own and really funnels that section of the base the dragons are coming into that way they could do more focus damage they can take advantage of that rage spell more once again we're going to see that warden ability used to save all those troops especially the loons from that gigabomb blast now gigabomb blast will not kill dragons entirely but it's still massive damage i mean you do not want all your dragons to catch gigabomb blast unless it's like maybe at the end of a raid because uh it, it does a ton of damage you guys Bat spells coming in from the left hand side and there was just not much over there man there was like one wizard tower on this far side um if any actually he might not even have used a i don't think he used a freeze yet so holding on to that freeze in case he needed it for the wizard other withers wizard tower <laughs> but the dragons were already tanking at that point so he didn't even need it Go ahead and use it on the last couple defenses, even though they didn't really pose much of a damage to bat spells. It was just single target defenses, a Tesla, and a single target Inferno. So base is wrecked, you guys, super hard. Look at all these dragons left up. Man, 
I mean, we used to see this a lot before the nerf, but after the nerf, this is this is a absolutely wrecked base. You know, six dragons still up, bats still flying around to the end of the raid, crushes this one. Very nicely done. So, thank you guys for hanging out that are still here towards the end of the video, man. I appreciate it. If you guys are new to the channel, uh, hit that subscribe button. I'd really appreciate it. I uh, appreciate all your guys' support. And check out the details below my videos when you get a chance in there. I have links to all my social media, including my Discord server, which is the best, easiest way to get a hold of me. Also, I have links to WHF Family Recruiting Discord server. WHF is recruiting Max Town Hall 10s, Max Town Hall 11s, and Max Town Hall 12s. So, uh, heroes have to be maxed. Walls do not have to be maxed before you can apply. Those are the basics, but you can find the rest of those, uh, rest of that information inside our recruiting Discord server. There's a whole README, all the information you need to know. So, I hope to see you guys soon. Uh, uh, as a subscriber, hope to see you in my Discord channel. If you, when you get there, hit me up, say hi, and definitely hope to see you guys in WHF Family Recruiting Discord server as well. So, I will see you guys in the next video. Nerf this.